All right, Danielle, thank you. Back to school season ramping up and students at both Fairfield City Schools and Ross Local Schools are heading to their first day of class this morning. So at Ross, there is a few, uh, there's a new leadership at the helm this year, and there's a few things you need to know before you head there this morning. WLWT News 5's Giacomo Luca spoke with the new superintendent and has more from Ross Intermediate School. Giacomo, lots of excitement. Yeah, lots of excitement building early this morning as students are preparing to head back to class. Around 3,000 students heading back to Ross local schools across their five schools this morning. Uh, certainly uh, very exciting as they're just about an hour away from the start of the new school year. Now we did get a peek inside some of the classrooms as teachers are preparing to welcome their students back. Families also going to be uh, welcomed by a new school superintendent this year, Dr. William Rice, bringing with him experience working in districts across the region as a teacher, a principal and an assistant superintendent. He says he's aware of the challenges before him. He's the district's third superintendent in just five years, but he tells me he's humbled by the opportunity to lead a school system where his own school, uh, his own children attend and where he calls home. So that is my my sole focus is the teaching and learning retention of a great quality staff, um, making sure that everybody feels appreciated and welcomed here in Ross and making sure that our focus is on teaching every kid, all kids. Right? That all is, a, is an all encompassing word. It means every one of them. Um, so that, that is the focus every day when I come to work. Now, Dr. Rice says that he's really ready to start fresh, moving past some of the challenges the district's faced over the past couple of years, like COVID, as well as several failed levies. Uh, meanwhile, coming up in the next half hour, uh, I'll share with you some of the traffic impacts that uh, folks here in Ross should expect as there's some construction work happening right in front of the school. But we'll be back in just a bit on News to Go. We're live this morning in front of Ross High School, Giacomo Luca, WLWT News 5. Giacomo, thank you.